Don't nothing get straightened but straightened. Straight. You don't get shit straight, you don't straighten it. Nah. In this gang, sit back, be patient. Dang. Niggas act like the gang went vacant. Uh. Niggas act like something been taken. Uh. Ain't nothing but a look, I'm straightening. I'm taking kicking shit, popping out daily. Uh. On the island, it's a movie I'm making. That's I'm nice. counting the narrows with Robert De Niro. He telling them to a maze. Straightening, straightening, straightening. Yo, straightening, straightening, straightening. Yo, don't not get straightened but straightened. Don't not get straightened but straightened. Don't not get straightened but straightened. You don't get shit straight, you don't straighten. Welcome back to Melly's World. You guys will not believe. So, <laughs> follow Anthony on IG, SS.Anthony. Right? Because he went to, as you guys seen in my last video, he had to get his muffler and everything fixed, right? So he went to go get it fixed on his way back. Look at the shit that happened. He was rear-ended. Luckily, I mean, it's not that bad of damage. But still, he was like, oh my gosh. He was all right. You know, like I said, look. Yes. So while Anthony's at work, I got to go and get the estimate done on how much to fix this. He was like, Mom, I just want them to put the ZL1 kit on here. I said, boy, they're going to put factory back. Yeah, he was thinking that he's going to get a free upgrade. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> he's thinking he's going to get a free upgrade. Mm, no. Yeah. Because you know my son, he's a hard working man and I'm off. And so I was like, I'll go and take it for you. But oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, that was kind of scary. Anybody that's a parent out there, I don't care how old your child is. And they're like, damn, I just got rear-ended. I'm like, what? You all right? This car is so cold still. Yeah, I'm like, are you all right? He went and also, I think he went and um, got that sensor thing that he needs, the, the O2 sensor extension. He went and got that fixed. He got his muffler fixed, but then this happened. He was like, man, I'm spending all this money and this shit happened. I said, yeah, that's, that's, that's the life of a car person, buddy. <laughs> so let me head to this. Let me find this damn place, first of all. And um, this car sounds <laughs> It got a little bit of some, some. Should I scare this, this key over here? Yeah. I don't know, you guys. Maybe I just remember how Sally feels. Let me get to this damn uh, body shop and stop playing. So, I'm here. You guys can't even see the sign. There it goes. At Collision Works, right? They're like, oh, it's at 8 o'clock. Motherfucker, it's like four minutes till eight. Come on now. Shit, I got my pup at home. Messing around with these people. Let's see what they're talking about. I know it's probably nothing major. Yeah, you got to replace the bumper. But Ant was really trying to... Let me put this right here. Ant was really trying to get a ZL1 kit put on. I said, dude, you buy it. They'll probably put it on in replacement of it. But they ain't gonna just go and... and, and you know, go handle that. Like, yeah, let's upgrade the whole system for him. <laughs> that shit would look clean as fuck with this, uh, with this right here with the ZL1 package, though. I think so. I just burnt the shit out of myself. Oh, damn. It does say caution hot, but fuck. Yeah, so. I don't know, you guys. I'm just out here. So, if you guys are following me on IG, matter of fact, if you're not, go ahead and follow me, Melly's World 01. I went out to a, one of those bar rides, that thing, like, that looks kind of like a boat, but then you pedal, and then you drink, and all that stuff, and I'm not a drinker, but that shit was so fun. I don't know if I should drop that video or not, because we were litty lit lit. Um, because there's just so much copyright on it, but it doesn't matter, right? It's all fun, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm doing me, I'm, I'm doing my own, having my own experiences, trying new things. That's something that I always wanted to do. But I'll tell you what, you guys, I won't ever mix liquor again. I won't ever 
get that fucked up again. Like, Deshaun had to come to my rescue. Like, he could have blackmailed me for sure. Like, <laughs> Deshaun, money making Sean, by the way. Had to come to my rescue. I am so happy that my boys are grown. And I'll be like, uh, send that location. Come, come, come get your mama. <laughs> your mama over here acting grown. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know if I should drop it, but we had so much fun. I think. I think I should, even though there's hella copyright, I wouldn't get paid for it, but just, you know, if that's something that you guys want to do, it is freaking Bricktown bar, bar ride, bike ride, something like that, so I think I'm really going to drop that video, I think so, little pieces of what was going on, that shit was so fun, it really is, so for the money, it was well worth, it was well worth it, and just bring your own beer, bring, uh, bring your own drinks whatever the case may be but it was legitly like fun the guy whatchamacallit that that was conducting the ride or whatever the fuck you want to call it he was hella cool we played some games on there i think we should i i think i'm gonna drop that video probably the next video that's coming i got a couple more in the works but i'm trying to get my friend k the one that got the um that got the the jeep grand cherokee I'm trying to get her to go ahead on and, and give me the approval on dropping this one video because it was legit funny. Like she needs to be in like skit comedy shows or some shit. Like she, she, if she did a YouTube channel, that shit would be popping off. She is hilarious. But I do have some some more videos in my arsenal that I just haven't dropped. Damn, he got a crack in his windshield too. So yeah, poor Ant, you know, he, he really feeling himself on this car, back to the subject at hand. He's really feeling himself in, uh, in this car. I'm really proud of him. But um, all while he's getting his car fixed up, he done got a speeding ticket. Like, dude, he done got a speeding ticket. Now he done got rear-ended. Hopefully this is it. We're done with all that fucking extra shit. But yeah, so I don't know. Let's see what they got to say. Let's see what they gotta say. That's all I can say. All right, let me take some photos. Can I get the keys for the bin? If I think it opens. Okay. Alright, let me take overall pictures first and then uh -huh. we'll attempt to open it. trying to get out her pictures and she any rear body damage at the moment just because I can't physically see it. Right, right. Uh, so, once it gets dropped off for repairs, uh -huh. that's when we'll be able to add for the rear body once we Right, it right.
ever tried to open it before? I don't think so. He just noticed that it was out of whack. That's neat. The key. Mm-hmm. Push it back Silverado truck probably in the 90s that hit him and um, it was kind of tall so the only thing damage that that truck had was like <clears throat> the bottom guard or something like that I don't know but it was like no damage to his bumper no damage to anything other than that plastic guard that's up under the bumper so oh my gosh poor Aunt. I know like I said I know he's hurt so proud of his Camaro. Right. We're gonna get it fixed. It's gonna be all right. He didn't get hurt. Nobody got hurt. It could have been way worse. You know what? One thing, if you guys are in Oklahoma City, I avoid this area that Anthony got, um, got hit at just because it's freaking dangerous. So when you're taking 240 to the I-35, there's like a thing that goes around, like a hoop thing. Don't go there everybody always gets in accidents right there it's a yield and people don't be paying attention and they just like run out right when you're right there and just end up rear-ending you not paying attention looking at the traffic that's coming or whatever so just be careful you guys stay away from that area they need to fix that shit for real i don't i don't go that way i would rather go all the way around than deal with that yeah, but as you guys can see she inspected it of course they can't say any other damage but what they see so I'm going to make an appointment to drop it off yeah one of these days make an appointment to drop it off and uh, yeah he's going to have to get in a rental car you know he's only 20 right so I don't know what rental car place would be willing to take him I might have to co-sign or whatever the case may be put it in my name it doesn't matter but um yeah it's gonna be coming back brand new looking nice you know this car is pretty nice I've always loved the Camaro wheels and of course you know as I always say when you drop a car off at any type of auto mechanic, car detail, I don't care. You drop your car off at any type of business, always do a walk around before you drop it off. Take pictures, whatever the case may be. So if there's something funny, you already know. And luckily these phones now time, you know, date stamp shit. So yeah, always do your little inspection. Before you drop your car off anywhere and then when you pick it up make sure you guys look over it again so yeah i love this orange it's so pretty all right i got the estimate but of course until they pull off that back bumper they can't give me estimate on anything else and they said it is 2200 yeah it's 2200 so far to get it fixed luckily Everything is going through that person's insurance, and I'm happy the guy was truthful. The guy actually had insurance, because you know what me and my Z01, that broad, done got over on me, pulled a fast one. But, yeah, so everything's gonna work out. But you know what? That is it, my morning is over. Shout out to all my Melly's World peeps. This has been another day in the life of Melly's World, and I'm out. Niggas can't sit back, be patient. Niggas act like the game went vacant. Niggas act like something taken. Ain't nothing but a little bit straight. Pink kicking shit popping out daily. On the island, it's a movie.